Hello, Yammers! Do I honk in this game? I don't think this game has honking, but I cannot confirm or deny that. Mm. What's up, everybody? How's it going? I noticed that someone changed their name to Nightcore Frazier, and I'm here for it. I noticed that as well. Where's... I also know we got some subs, but I don't see them in the... Oh, is it because it's showing followers? Is that why? Oh. Oh, it just scrolled down? Where'd these subs go? I just saw some subs. They're up there! Oh, I don't know. I don't, it's only showing the follows. What is happening? Show me what's happening. I'm just gonna have to go find him. Space Piggy subbed. I know that. I know that. I think Ellie Cheaper subbed as well. Who are you? Nightcore Frazier is continuing the gift they got from Squanto27. Thank you. Porcupine and... overalls and Zerdolin. Thank you. Thank you all. Zerdolin should have um, thing. Sorry for that initial confusion. Streamlabs updated. Yeah. And so things are different and I have to learn new Bonkers. things. Um, also, to whoever changed your name to Nightcore Frazier, you're a hero. Planet Fiction, we did see the Nightcore Frazier. I Frasier. did see it. Uh, Julia shared it to us and, and we all got a good laugh out of it. So thank you for that. Nightcore Frazier got their SSS shirt in the mail today and says that they rule. Hell yes. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, also, Allegretta said Bella LaBall's home, Disco Elysium, which oh my God. is a very good joke. Yeah, actually. Um, to give a preface on this game, since we have this mature content warning down here. Yeah. Um, I actually just put that down there. Volume's a little loud, actually. It's a, li it's a tidbit loud. I'm going to have to change it. Change it over here. I'm going to have to change it over here. Who are you? Where I'm going to change it? it over here. Oh, give, apparently not. Give, give me... Blat Jamon. <laughs> I'm just going to have a lot of problems, I think, is what I'll do. Thank you for the sub. Here we go. We'll just do it this way. Um, I'm drinking a horchata. Just a drink update. I'm drinking a horchata. Um, yes. So, uh, this game's been on my radar for a long time. It used to be called No Truce for the Furies. Whoa. Which is a dope name, but yeah. I think they changed it in part because that's kind of a name that is confusing. Yes. And also because a lot of people said, thought it said no truce for the furries. Oh, <laughs> and that it was an anti-furry game. Uh, Noah128, thank you for the sub. Which it's thank not. Um, so Julia's always just out of frame. She's, she tries her best to be half out of frame at all times. Um, but it's basically a detective game. You're in sort of this... Uh, grimy shitty town and you're trying to solve a murder but you don't remember who you are you wake up with a hangover and don't remember who you are and have to figure yeah. out what kind of detective you are while also trying to solve this crime mm -hmm. um, I, we put the mature themes warning just because I've heard that it has like you know adult themes or like some darker stuff in it I don't know exactly what it is so I don't have any specifics but some possible trigger warnings maybe yeah so it's just like if you feel like you might be the type of person who would be you know made upset by some sort of mature themes then maybe not the stream for you no, no, this one. or you can watch a bit and kind of get a get a feel for it and see how you feel about it but i've just been excited for it for a long time and i told julia earlier that i was really excited this game came out and that i wanted to play it but i wasn't sure how good it'd be for stream and, then it's and like, she go was for like it. let's just play it anyway this it's, is for it's for this it's our for stream us. this one's for us this one's for daddy and mommy this one's for Daddy and Mommy. I'm sorry for any, you know, insensitivities there are in this game, maybe, but they are done purposefully because it's supposed to be gritty and adult. Yes. Also, what I think you guys will like, all of you, is the art in this game. It's just beautiful. The art is killer. The aesthetics and design are awesome. I'm obsessed with it because it's giving me some real strong... Dishonored vibes in those like painterly ways. Yeah, you know? totally. Uh, it's reminding me of um, if any of you have played the DLC for Dishonored, you have the the Witches of Grimmore, Brigmore. Sorry, the Witches of Brigmore. The and there's Witches those, of Brigmore. There's this big like portrait paintings that are in there. Yeah, that's what this is reminding me of. Totally. It's beautiful, and I'm so excited to see more. Um, so we've got a couple of like archetypes you can pick from here. For what what kind of detective we might want to be, mm -hmm. we got the thinker who's got like high intelligence. 
the sensitive who's got high oh, psyche. I'm sorry. Did you explain that this is based on like a like a there's like a ro- dice rolling aspect? To no, I figured game? I'd get into that as we played, so people can just well, see, all right. see what it is as we go. Well, okay then. Um, but it's an interesting game, uh, as Julia, you started to say, because there's actually no combat in it. And it, it is all based on dice rolls that your stats, like, give you bonuses to. Um, and you can make all kinds of choices that make your character different and weirder and, and, and better or stronger. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I'll make a dummy. Make maybe I'll, maybe I'll start with idiot? a dummy. I think I'm going to start with a dummy. I love the line, gets things done, but dumb is a rock. Dumb is a rock. I want to be a dummy and, and let's go. Let's begin as, as our big stupid idiot dummy. The furries are at home. No, the furies! <laughs> In the mirror. Oh, we didn't even get to read the whole thing. No, because I made a stupid joke. <laughs> I made a stupid joke that wasn't worth it, and I'm sorry. Begin. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Ew. Ew. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. What are you doing? <laughs> Julia literally ran away to get to put on a trench coat so she could look like a detective. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> Oh, amazing. <laughs> you ran away so fast, I thought something had happened. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I feel like this is also a good time to say that uh, with this intro here, the different parts of your character's psyche also speak to him. One of which is your ancient reptilian brain. Um, but also it'll be like your logic will talk to you, or like your various parts of your mind will talk to you and like tell you what they think. You're gonna get hot in there. I'm kind of cold, so this is fine. Ever. Never. Ever. So we have our force, force choices here. Force choices. We could say never, ever, ever, or we can just keep on non existing. Oh. I love to not exist. Let's do that. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex wives are contained within it. This is great. Yeah. This is great. It is. Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. Listen. I'm not a very spooky detective if I'm drinking a horchata in a plastic cup. (laughs) No. How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? right up, sir. Smooth passage. Allons-y. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Nothing town to fuck all borough. <laughs> this voice is very mighty boo. <laughs> A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Look, Look there's... there's... I am tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? Do you want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song the of death. Song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. I don't want a sensation, I specifically asked. <laughs> like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Everyone's saying Meat Man. <laughs> In this game, you play as Meat Man. To disco music. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck, and I'm in it. <laughs> Amazing. A stench of neck arises from your mouth. Oh, here's our limbic and system. It, an ungodly headache. I had a headache earlier because I was stressed, but. I'm doing pretty okay now. I feel this. Sometimes I want to cut my head off because it's trying to murder the rest of me. Yeah, I feel that. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It 
Whoa! Do you see how many bits Duel just gave us? Duel shared. Oh my god! Eleven thousand one hundred bits. You? That is a that is a big bunch of bits. What even? How? What? Thank you, Duel. Thank and also, you, Duel, and Runaway. And thank you, Runaway. For the sub. We all got emotes from Duel's mega cheer. Good God! Thank you so much, Duel. All right, I'm gonna open my eyes. Face down, ass up. That's the way I like to wake up. Me undies. We're only wearing undies and socks, it seems. Been oh, there, done boy. that. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, look at my face. It's all. Oh my god, I love that painting. My face is all nothing. Oh, my guy does not want to be. Oh, I just want to study that little portrait. Oh, there's a coat. Yeah, get yeah. that. Disco, Disco ass, ass blazer. blazer. Yeah. Oh, there's pants on the floor, too. You can pick those up. Oh, I probably need those. Yeah, let's, you probably need let's your pants. Let's get pants. Flare-cut trousers. So, clearly, we are, like, in the, the 70s, right? With We're in, like, an alternate... It's and, an alternate okay. universe sort of situation. Hold tab to highlight. Oh, interesting. Oh, what's that? Is that your tie? Looks like your tie. Ceiling fan. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific neck tie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. What is savoir faire? So these are this is my chance to grab the tie. Yeah. I have a 58% chance of getting this tie successfully, and I feel like for the sake of this stream, I want to try to do it. Yeah. Oh my god. Success! You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap, it's released from the blade. I'm obsessed with the art in this game. Look at that little... Item gained horrific necktie. Great. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. I don't need to pull on the fan or the light bulb. I got what I wanted, which is this horrible tie. Your briefcase is bouncing <laughs> in the bottom there. Who are you? Bottom right. Duel the Queen just gifted a tier one sub to the state of Arizona. Uh, see, this is where my all my stuff will go. That's where your stuff lives. This is where my stuff lives. Thank you for the gift sub, Duel. And I'm getting these bonuses. Psyche oh base God. plus two because of this stuff. Oh, now I'm going to have to do a news day in the style. Uh, there we go. This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Terminally inconvenient, said Julia. There's more game than the bottom left corner. There's not. There's not, though. Empty cassette case. I'll take it. Um, Lowkick86 says, be sure to read the item descriptions. They can be pretty hilarious. Well, let's take a look at that. There used to be a tape in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about the Eteniers... Et so there's lots of French in this game. Yeah, there is. The Ateniers single smallest church in Saint... Cyan? Must have rubbed someone the wrong way. The label says the song was recorded in 43. Names are always hard. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song is playing. What does this do? Oh, it's my perception. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. Oh. That's my perception. Oh, I love it. It says whirling in rags on the aluminum key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number number one is etched on it. Who are you? It should open the door. Infinity Bits, thank you so much. Thank for you, the Infinity sub. Bits. That's so many bits. There's a shoe. Do we have one shoe? I got green shoe left foot. Okay, so we need another shoe. They call me Green Shoe Left Foot. Oh, I can look at this broken window. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus. Oh. Assess the damage. What could like possibly be the negative if I fail to assess the damage? Uh, you <laughs> throw your <laughs> face through the window. I mean, I'm going to try. Yeah, why not? Success. Oh, I did it. Double sixes. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? 
A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. I can either assess the size of the impact or wait, what am I doing? Let's go. Keep assessing. Let's go. Yeah. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. A brick. The single green shoe you, fi you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Well. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need anyone. That's a... I gained that, experience. That's a Julia teen answer right there. <laughs> the window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. I'm going to be an angsty fight boy. I do just want to acknowledge that the chat is just... Everyone's just talking about their day, and it's so pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people's days aren't going so well, but it's nice that everyone's, like, checking in on each other. Yeah, it's, you, you guys are good to each other, chat. Bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. <laughs> a shirt! Oh, we got a shirt! White satin shirt. Nice. Are we wearing it already? Yeah, we are. Mirror. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Wow. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Suddenly you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Sabatower does say, I get that the art is amazing, but we are not acknowledging quite how well written this is. And that's yeah, true, it that's is a... beautifully well written. I'm just obsessed with the art myself because I am an <clears throat> artist. Yeah. But it is beautifully well written, and the gameplay seems like a lot of fun. It's a very interesting idea. It's mostly a reading game. It's a reading and talking game, and looking at good art game. And I'm just obsessed with visuals. I'm gonna wipe the mirror. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand toward the surface of the mirror... Abort! You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you will see there, and you will never unbecome it. Oh. I don't care. Still wipe the mirror. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Or better not to know. Yeah. I well, don't care? Yeah, why not? Oh. Behold! Oh, now I have a face down here. Oh my god. You've got a lot going on on your face. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Uh, of course I do. It's some kind of superstar. I think I'm a superstar. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Oh, we're very <laughs> self-deprecating. I am not making it. The face is making itself. Look at those brush strokes. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, this is what superstars do. <laughs> you can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You've worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. That's a very funny line. <laughs> I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. Yeah, like I hope not, but line. I think it is. Yeah. Oh God, is that what I've been doing? Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies, whatever happens. No one tells me what to do. <laughs> That's right, not even yourself. Go ahead, try something. It's not an order. Uh, dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Very low chance. Very low chance. That. Or attempt to stop the expression from Still happening. Still very low. Very low. I, have, I do not have good skills at these things. I'm just going to let the mirror be. Yeah. I can't do any of those things. I have to live with the expression. Oh <laughs> the God. expression that hopefully is not for ladies. It appears I can't go through that door. Schrodinger's dog says, It's not that this face is worse than in Sinking Cities. It's bad in a different but same way. <laughs> True. So we're missing our shoe. We have to go get our shoe. And it's hopefully out here somewhere. Oh, hello. One of the ladies. A lady. I have to try out my face on her. The calendar says it's March. The year is 51. 
Unspecified, 51. All right. I like that. What's up, the ladies? Excuse me? Klausja. 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 Miss Orange Disco Dancer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Do you want to play Klausja? Yeah. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. That's not me at all, but yeah, okay. Officer? Am I military personnel? Uh, no. Oh, she voices herself. She seems perplexed by your question. I got nothing to do this game other than detective over here. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? The young woman shakes her head slowly. Okay, chief technical officer? Uh, you're a police officer, sir? <laughs> you're shitting me. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. All this time? You've been here for three days on official police business, Noah. And what business I is that? I say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Try the expression on her. <laughs> I have to try the expression, it's, right? You have an 8% chance but imagine, succeeding. But imagine if it goes... You have a 92% chance of failing. I say go for it. I have to try the expression. The words have already left your mouth. I want to have fuck with you. No! <laughs> Just because you have the expression doesn't mean you have to use this terminology. Oh, the whole chat said do it with the, no. with the expression, so, uh... She erupts in laughter, all the fatigue swept from her face. What was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. No, I don't want to. <clears throat> Come on, man. Pretty please? One more time. I said I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> God damn right you did, you crazy asshole, you. What kind of cop are you? Superstar cop? Superstar cop. Superstar cop. Okay, that's cool. Or if I can just maybe ask you to elaborate on the superstardom a tiny bit. I sincerely think I'm a superstar. <laughs> the state it's of a... <laughs> Arizona says Jacob is the son of God, Julia. <laughs> it's a theory I'm developing. <laughs> I have certainly been entertained. Thank you. Whatever you are, you should stick to it. Otherwise... It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. Why am I gonna have to interrogate you? Did you do something? What'd you do? And for the record, no, I didn't do it. No. Okay, good. Well, we know she didn't do it. <laughs> She's very honest. Looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. Where's our shoe? Oh, I got something here. Electrochemistry. You should pick that fat juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up, and smoke the living shit out of it. <laughs> the what now? Am I a smoker? Nah, discard thought. Nah. I want to know the what now. The living shit! Your mesolimbic reward pathway does not mince words. It wants smokes. No, I'm a superstar. I do not smoke. That is how electrochemistry works. So it's just like, you need this thing. This thing, you need it. You need it. You clear, Clearly, you need it. There's something on the table. Yeah, I want it. Hell yeah. It's money. money. I love money. I got some Rayal. That's money in this world. Nice. I've gone somewhere. You've gone. I will not smoke. I will not jewel. Oh, whirling in rags. That's the the place. The what? That's the place where that was on the keys. Yes. Earlier. Your shoe! My shoe. I think I'm going to do a... Where's my menu? Uh-oh. What? Look uh, at that image! Uh oh! Oh my god, it's so good! Uh oh! Uh oh, Julian wants to study this one! Level up, do I have points? Apparently I have some points. Where are the- oh, you have- I don't know, I don't know how many points you have. 
Maybe I don't have points. I don't know. Some of them were lit up like you could. Like the, the ones that cost like one. Never mind. It's not anymore. I thought it was though, right? Yeah, it was. Whatever. Did I get something new? Oh, we have descriptions for these things. This green crocodile leather shoe has a high heel and chrome embellishments. It fits your left foot perfectly. All that remains is to find the other shoe. This necktie is adorned with a garish pattern. It's disturbingly vivid. Somehow you feel as if it would be wrong to ever take it off. It's your friend now. You will betray it if you change it for some boring scarf. Looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. It has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back and the right sleeve. This white satin shirt used to be fancy. It used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss in the armpits. These golden brown trousers are flare cut. Normal bell bottom trousers would be boot cut, but these are far from normal. They are someone's piss soaked, cum stained party pants. You can't we, say we, those words. We all have one of those sets of pants, I guess. We shouldn't. If any of your pants, listen chat, if any of your pants are piss soaked, it's time to get rid of those pants. Time to get rid of them. You gotta get new pants. My joke about don't we all, <laughs> I don't, I don't have one of those. A gust of briny wind washes over you. Secret task complete, find your other shoe. Composure. There they both are, two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. These do not look like normal cop shoes. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. You may be what they call a big dick cop. How do they fit? Good, they're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. I was getting my water. <laughs> it was very far away. You keep doing mysterious things behind me and I don't like it. I placed the words pretty well on the, uh, on the screen and only cuts into a little bit of you did. the uh, menu. You did, See? good job. Yeah, look at good that work. Great, great job, great work. <sighs> great job, good Julia's. Good Julia to you. What's over here? What's this? This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trump Le Monde. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. I don't know anything. How much of an alcoholic are you? <laughs> I have no memories. Oh, I can double click to run. That's good news. That is good news. Because I move pretty slowly. Who texting me? Oh, what's going on down here? My brother's texting me because he's watching Hereditary with his dog. I love how everything in this game looks like concept art. Yeah. Like all the backgrounds look like concept art. You can see all of the brush strokes. It's I mean, really, it really cool. It really reminds me of uh, uh, Pietro... Jablonski's. You've never art. once said his name without having a full five seconds of thinking. Because there's so many accents in it. <laughs> My brain is like, how do you pronounce this thing again? I don't know. Try your best. Oh, Loki says you took the character with high electrochemistry, so he wants drugs, alcohol, and cigarettes. Oh, true that. So that's part of what I chose. Yeah. Inland Empire. You should totally sing karaoke here the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. My soul is immense. Utterly. And it needs to be heard. <laughs> Through a PA system. Great. By other people. Mm -hmm. Half light. Whether they like it or not, ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. I feel like our big broody guy would do this. This goes well with the theory I'm developing, that I'm a down-on-my-luck superstar person. That is true. Who is, mis who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. Magic Impact. Um, my brother's dog is enjoying the movie. He is actually watching it. My mom, my brother sent me a video of his dog watching the TV. It was a question in the chat. Yes. Who are you? You should sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. The Elegant Raven. Thank you for the sub. 
I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, get the crowd going. No, no, don't sing the happy song, it's stupid. Sing the sad song, it's profound. New tasks in karaoke. Yes! You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. Finish thought. Can I go up on stage and pose? This feels right. You belong here. <laughs> I'm a superstar! What Amazing. is this? Oh, my tasks. Yeah. Sing karaoke. Find a sufficiently tragic tape, then play it on a boombox to memorize the lyrics, and then ask the cafeteria manager to perform, preferably in the evening. More people at the bar, then. Great. So you want people to hear you. I, I need people to hear me. I have an immense soul. Do I have... No. This went... From being a detective game to a game about chasing superstardom. Yeah, this is a karaoke Says, game. Uh, Quasia Interactive. Let's talk to uh, old buddy over here. Yeah, why not? Run to him. Do a tape. Gart, the cafeteria manager. A man in his late 20s stands behind the counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. I'm going to look at the stuffed bird. Yeah. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs, one of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that, that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. A small engraved steel tag says, The Great Skua. That's the Great Skua, right? This is a move I would pull for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like you see the name and then act like you already knew what it was. Gets him every time. No. Your buddy is over there. He oh. looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Lollipop Punk asks us what's some dope shit to put on a jacket. Any phrases you suggest? Um, the only phrase... The only two phrases I know. One of them is mayonnaise is food lube. The other one is queeflings. <laughs> Those are the only two phrases I know. A pie for a pie. A pie for a pie? That's my phrase. You can't say incredulously, <laughs> a pie for a pie, as if you didn't just say mayonnaise and food loop, <laughs> and also the word queeflings. You can't be upset with me. I, I wasn't catching on to an eye for an eye. <laughs> I was just very confused as to why you said it at all. A pie for a pie. But now I understand. Now I get it. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Oh, this guy's got some issues. Wow, all right. Too Composure. good for being a bartender. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. Oh, so this, they're doing, like, rolls all the time, it looks like. Yeah, it like. seems like it. Yeah, so I got one over this, so I was able to keep my composure. Mm-hmm. You look like a bartender. I mean, Liz, I don't want to be an asshole, but... That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Where did Sylvie go? <laughs> she People just, are just quoting you, know. you and your ridiculous things. Nobody quote me. I've never <laughs> said anything good. <laughs> oh, I love that quote. Nobody quote me. I've never said anything good. Put that on your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> the angels can see my wiener as I bathe. <laughs> Right, I'm done with Gart. Gart Brooks. What's that? Was that the menu? The menu's been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. So is it Monday? Mondays, am I right? What do we have? Nosefed. Nosefed. Oh, plus one health. Healing item gained. Nosefed. I guess it's like a nose spray. Mm hmm This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. That's nice. That is nice. Oh, I can zoom. Our friend is over here, he said. Dude Let's in a bomber go, jacket. Uh, 
Oh, there he is. Oh, there's things here to look at, though. That bomber jacket friend over there. Excuse me, bomber jacket friend. I gotta look at this thing first. The dog eat my ass. I got cummed up on. Uh, I didn't even see what I caught a glimpse of. Union money. Give me that money. I guess you have to go back there. Give me that money. The door's bolted. A sign reads, kitchen reserved for personnel until 13 o'clock. So it's 1 o'clock and it's 8.30 right now. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. What's this? What's this? What's, What's this? this? Mess hall reserved for union members. Doors open 1,600 hours. Who are you? This old bitty. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. Okay. I know that for some reason. Why not? You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods toward the man in the orange bomber jacket. I'm keeping my colleague waiting on purpose. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. All right, what's up, dog? Kim Kitsuragi. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. I have a question, and it's very stupid. What's the difference between bespectacled and bespeckled? I don't think bespeckled means that you have spectacles on. I think it means you you have speckles. What are on speckles? You. Dots. Oh, like freckles? Just like dots of of something. Okay. I never knew the difference. I think so. People in chat will probably... Yeah, bespectacled means covered in speckles. And bespectacled means covered in spectacles. People want a cat update. We haven't moved yet, so we haven't <clears throat> really looked for a cat. Yeah, we're moving on Saturday. We're moving this Saturday. Only and... a few more days. This is the last stream from this apartment. That's true. Ain't that something. And uh, as is tradition, there's just a bunch of shit happening. Yeah, a bunch upstairs. of people upstairs. It's pouring rain outside. Yeah. Perfect final stream. I'm going to continue this conversation. Go for it. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. Perception, sight, I succeeded. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. I'll shake his hand. It's rude not to shake Hello. someone's hand. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. I could be. Bitch, I might Who be. Who are you? Bitch, I might be. Duel gifted a sub to Marine Pixel. Thank you, Duel. Thank you so much. Oh, I can invent a name for myself, but I have a low chance of doing it. What are you doing? Who are you? I was looking something up. I'm sorry. You, I need you here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm here. I'm going to make an attempt to invent a name for myself with a low percentage chance of success. Do it. Whatever he names himself is what I'm going to name myself in the next D&D campaign. Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. All it's, right. It's so cool. It's very cool. But won't I come off like a douche if I call myself that? It's very, very cool. Maybe a bit ostentatious. My name is Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau is obviously what I'm picking. Yes. yes. Thank you, 12 Obin, yeah. for the clarification. He doesn't even process what you just said. Just moves on. <laughs> he hates us. We're a big, looks like we dumb, a alcoholic idiot. <laughs> yep. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Do you mean the cafeteria manager? If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is all back, right? I kind of enjoy that Kim Kitsuragi sounds a little French. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. Yeah. In full force, I mean. There's definitely some French in there. The right? Interviews. I'm really into that. Uh, yes, the police. I am aware I'm a policeman. Right. And the interviews? What interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest, and then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I haven't done it. Okay, we'll have time <coughs> after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? <laughs> the dead body from the tree? <laughs> look, man, you know, yeah. <laughs> Very Does good police answer. The body is no longer in the tree. What is the way he was reading that reminding me of? 
don't know. Oh, it's like it tickled something in my brain. Like that specific. The, the last part of the sentence did. Yeah. For me. The body is no longer in the tree. I don't know. It's doing something in my brain, and I can't figure it out. My brain—it's gonna drive Maybe me crazy. Maybe someone in the chat will figure it out. It sounded like something else. Genji. Completely. People's just Completely. talking about cats now. Does that mean you took the buddy down from the tree? I don't like dead bodies. Sure, but did you take it down from the tree? What dead body? That sounds like a code. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. So the body is still <laughs> in the tree. Listen, Kim, I'm sorry. I'm not... <laughs> We've disappointed Kim. I'm not having my best day, Kim, all right? I'm really sorry. This is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. <laughs> you know, we would all prefer that, <laughs> really. Been hanging for seven days straight. Who are you? We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Yeah, we should probably yeah, get... Yeah, we probably should. We should probably get that body out of the Duel, tree. Duel, thank you for gifting another sub. Guys, I don't know how many of you um, listen to the Adventure Zone, but I'm, I'm near the end of Amnesty right now. And the way I was answering those questions reminded me of Duck Newton trying to tell a lie so much, where he's so bad at it, and it takes a million years to lie poorly. That's the vibe I'm, I'm getting with this character. Good night, Magic Impact. What a shame. Get to it now. Rip that body down from the tree. That's my physical instrument. My, my body. Don't worry about the body. I'll rip it down. <laughs> yeah, I'll rip it down. Tactful. After it's been up in, after it's been up in a tree for that long, any kind of ripping is inadvisable. I can't do a French accent. Bowie. Interfacing delicate goods filled with stinking horrors. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Saying anything else isn't gonna help me. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? That's my logic telling me that. You're succeeding on a lot of these roles. Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? You mean you don't have a badge? It wasn't on me when I woke up. Do you want to read Kim Kitsuragi? Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a short wave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try and locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Amazing. I made him a little bit more French. Amazing and perfect. <laughs> I am trying to talk like my uncle. <laughs> Kim Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. Oh, what's up, Kim? Uh, report your badge missing is one thing we can do. Inspect the victim's body and interview cafeteria manager. These are all our tasks. And sing karaoke. Hell yeah. Which is my number one <laughs> task. Kim Kitsuragi confirmed as Julia's uncle. My uncle, when he speaks English, he speaks very softly Hello, and very Jensen. deliberately. I see you met up with your colleague. She looks at the lieutenant. The lieutenant nods politely. Wait, who's sweetie? Does that mean you like me? <laughs> you are a handsome man, officer, with your moustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old and too married besides. Dang. Dang. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained, I completely forgot to introduce myself. Yeah, who are you? I really I'm want Mar Kim's outfit. My husband Morel and I Kim's are staying cool with our friend Gary just down the street. But I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes glitter over the rims of her glasses as she looks up smiling. Kim's outfit's very Dragon Ball to me. A little bit, but I love the tapered pants at the bottom. Esprit de corps. 
This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. <laughs> How'd you like to roll with me? I want you to be my wheelchair partner fighting in crime. R ridding backyards of corpses. Catching sequence killers. Sequence killers? Oh my. She sounds impressed. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. Join my crew, Lena! A partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. I know, I know, but there are also side mysteries. Sequence killers and forays into the paranatural. Kim! I need you! Oh, I'm sorry. I can assure you, with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. Is that like mayonnaise? Martinez is food lube. Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. She turns to you. I wouldn't be of much use to you anyway, sweetie. <laughs> Why? Three heads are better than two. Thank you, but Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. She turns back to you with a hopeful glint in her eyes. Perhaps another time? You got it. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. Azriel Sinclair, thank you for the sub. <laughs> I believe they said they were from... It's snowing here in Alaska. Wow. I'm sorry. Unless you like the snow, then hooray. Then we're not sorry. We're it's excited for you. It's pouring outside right now. Yeah, it's just but... wet here. Yeah. In New York. I'm back, Gart. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41? He looks to you realizing he still doesn't know your name. As I said, I'm Detective Rafael Ambrosius Costeau. Right. <laughs> now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report the dead body. It was you who placed the call. Yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. You got such a sad boy voice, Gart. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He reminds me of, like, every dude in, like, interviews with 60s British, like, rockers. Yeah. Oh, I'm just trying to do my records. This sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. You said you just got me. From where? Are you a local? It's SD Xanders that I started ranting about food lube at a restaurant and someone at another table called me out as a droppy <laughs> fan. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. That's actually incredible. And also, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I think mayonnaise is food lube is the only true statement you've ever made on Droppy. The only true statement? So you agree with it? Yes. It's gross. You don't, I don't want to hear like it. You don't like it, as but often you agree as you with say it. it. Listen, I may not say the things that people want to hear, but I you say the things the people truth. need to hear. You know what I'm saying? What? With Martinez? No. I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on him. It looks like it doesn't mimic him to his face. Who one of the many, many cafeteria. I live in Jamrock. Also, that's the kind of music my band performs. Jamrock. Jamrock. Ashley Taylor, thank you for the 11th month of subbing. Thank you. That's almost a year. That's awesome. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I, I know where know some it. things I are. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I oh. you apply that. Detective? Queen Cillian, thank you for the sub. What? It's your turn. Oh, you mean questions? Yes, yes. He means do you have questions for me? Like a police officer would. Oh, I'm so tired of this guy. 
Have you ever heard of Tom York? He's like the most inspirational kind of uh, singer there is. Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. <laughs> this is the second time you've avoided the subject. Oh my god, what is your obsession with this Sylvie person? Get over it. <laughs> who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Be did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Suddenly you tense up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard, the prey drive says. Oh boy. <laughs> what does half-light mean? I don't know. Can I, like, look? What does half-light mean? I need... I need, like, stats. My half-light is crazy! Yeah. Did you kill him, Gart? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. You can tell me, Gart. You killed him, right? I didn't. Who are you? I don't appreciate this. What is this? The Wander Whale! Thank you, the Wander Whale. Why did you have to kill him? Now here's Wonder Whale. Do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless, his expression unreadable. Did he hurt you? Is that why? Did you get some kind of sick kick out of killing him? What are you, an idiot? I told you I haven't killed anyone. Anyone? Have you killed someone else then? He ignores you. <laughs> More. Press on. Push through. <laughs> Queen Cillian says, My mom usually ignores me when I talk about any of you from Joffu, but actually liked the title of your stream. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Did you kill Sylvie? Fuck you, man. <laughs> That's enough. You can't tell who the remark is aimed at. You or Gart. You have not entirely convinced me. I just want to hound this dude because I don't like him. Yeah. He stares angrily at you. That's a real pity. That's all. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You suck. Dirty experience. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. I don't know you shit. I don't know you shit. Oh, he puffs with indignation. You don't owe me shit. Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit. You owe me money. Oh, my God. Oh, this guy. That's the kind of thing where he'd go home and be like, yeah, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> Sounded like extortion to me. You know, I get this all the time. Some hobo comes in here or some backpacking asshole off the boat. The next day, when they can't make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Please just give me the money. I probably do owe him money. Yeah, I, probably. I have no memory whatsoever. Yeah. But what exactly is money? <laughs> what are you, brain damaged? That's a Tilbogan answer for what exactly yeah. is money. What is money, man? What is money, man? Actually, I might be. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Proceed to show him the coins you found. Is this money? Yes, it is. I keep the money. <laughs> uh... There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. What happens now? He turns to the lieutenant. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then he shrugs. Officer, maybe you're better working... Better off working this from home for now? <laughs> you live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? You have to get this investigation started now. Let's go, Kim. I don't want to talk to Gart anymore. Gart sucks. I hate him. Encyclopedia. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank in this place, sure, isn't it? Do I even have one? 
But you've been at this hostile cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Far away? In time or space? Both. That doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on a building? I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. Great. Like, I'm not gonna not click the option that says Hobo thought Cop. Thought gained Hobo Cop. Entertain the thought when you get the time. Maybe being a hobo and a cop has its advantages. No! Now, what... Thought cabinet. I'm in my thought cabinet, and I'm gonna think about Hobo Cop. Oh my god. A cop and a hobo. A hobo cop. Upsides. Can be disheveled. Doesn't have to wash. Carries himself with a lurched gusto. Hobo cop doesn't need anyone or anything. No one can kick you out because you don't have a home. Never pay rent again. Never again here. You're drunk. Why did you even come here, Harry? Go home. You're embarrassing yourself. Downsides. Are there any? I mean, seriously. Give me one. Alright, I'm going to internalize this. Ooh, it's pouring. I'm thinking about hobo cop. You can see the lightning. <laughs> really focusing on that hobo cop thought. I'll have minus one composure, but in four hours and 20 minutes, I will be done researching Hobo Cop and ready to come to some All right. come to some pretty good conclusions, I think, about, about Hobo Cop. So I'm glad that I'm thinking about it now. Right. Thank you, Lava Gay, for your good work as a mod. Summer door closed for the winter. Summer door closed for the winter? Can I go back here now? Where's the body? It's outside on a tree. Is it this way? Kim, is it this way? Kim, where am I going? Kim, did I go the right way? Kim, please. Help me. Vegan Luigi said it's about time someone thinks about Hobo Cop. <laughs> <laughs> and Nightcore Fraser said, Honey, what's wrong? You seem distracted. Oh, nothing. Just thinking about Hobo Cop. <laughs> Hobo Nobo. Hobo Nobo. Ooh, is that a good phone bit? Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to click you, Kim. You clicked Kim. Kim, tell me about the case. What do I want to know? Would you say this is a mysterious case? The lieutenant considers your question for a moment before answering. No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? Lieutenant shrugs. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. I think something otherworldly might be involved. White male in his 40s, what more do you need? Personally, I think labor disputes are very mysterious. Okay, so the case probably isn't mysterious, but could it be sexy? That's, what's I think, what's on my mind. There was some interest in this case at my station, but not for the reasons you have in mind. You seem to wish there was... Uh... Cut this boring stuff off immediately. You know what this case is about. Maybe there's a young woman involved. Are you sure there's not some sex angle we should be considering? Or, oh, I guess that settles it then. <laughs> you know exactly what this case is about. All right, whatever. Are you sure there's not some sex angle? Good point. Martinez is famed for his occult sex murder rights. We'll get on it immediately. I feel like, Kim, you're being facetious with me. No, a French person being very dry and sarcastic? Never once. Wow, really? That's mega sexy. No, not really. Was there anything else? All right, Kim. He's basically challenging you to sex it up with some lurid twist. Don't get right into it. Sit on it a bit. Then hit him with it. All right, I'm going to think about it. If we're from different precincts, why are we on the same case? You had me on chat duty. I'm trying to. Do I've both. got you on Kim Kitsuragi duties while I'm talking to Kim Kitsuragi. I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a a pissing competition. What do you mean? You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. I don't remember being in on anything. That's good. You know what I'm in on? Retrograde amnesia. 
Better still than an imbecilic cop off. Cop off? It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Alright, Ken. I'll do it this time. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? No. Good. Convince Kim there's a sexy dark mystery in this twist. 8% twist in this case. Chance. I don't think I can convince him of that. Not right now. I'm gonna have to think about the sexy dark mystery and get back to him. The pissing competition. Apparently there's a pissing match between Precinct 41 and Precinct 57. Ask him about this after the initial inspection of the dead body is done. Is Julia here voluntarily? Yes! I'm very excited about this game. Aesthetically, it's right up my alley. Also, I love the writing. A heap of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. Who are you? Who are you? Is the body... Where's the body? The RCM. I guess that's our police mm -hmm. thing. I liked her accent. It was very pretty. You sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's a... I have some questions for you. What can I help you with? Who are you exactly? Me? Me? I'm just a gardener. I'm just a gardener. Cool. And what are you doing here? I'm working. Working on what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. She gestures over her shoulder. I've been trying to get some work done. But... Well, as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. That poor woman. Don't worry, miss. We're here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Thank you. She smiles politely. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Mm. Salts. Oh, look at that. Ammonium salts? Perhaps useful for later. We need directions. Uh, the corpse? <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? I'm disorientated. I don't know where I am. <laughs> in Martinez, sir. In the city of River Chor. Uh, this intersection is called Roundabout North. He knows where we are. He just wants directions. There are L's in the chats to love Julia. Oh, thank you, guys. The lieutenant seems uncomfortable with the level of disorientation you are displaying. I won't display any more of it then, at the moment. The difference between disoriented and disorientated, isn't that a regional thing? I don't know. I thought the British used disorientated and we used disoriented. Could be right. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. All right. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. One more thing. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure, keep them. I have another pair. Yes! Nice! Really? None? Maybe just a tiny bit of annoyance. Thank you. Oh, I got gloves. Where's my gloves? 300 bits from the shish that says, Congratulations on everyone being there voluntarily. Thank you. <laughs> I put on the gloves. Thick latex gardening gloves and the classic canary yellow. Maybe you should retire. Take up gardening as a hobby. It's worth a thought. No, you're a superstar. I am a superstar. And that means I have to go look at the body. It's back here, I assume. Yeah, it looks What's like that? it. it. Looks like there's a lot of dirt here. What's that? Rue du de Saint Gislain. It's my best guess on my pronunciation there. You see a set of tire tracks and the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Oh, I'm not very good at visual calculus. Hey, Jacob and Julia, question for you. Do you have any tutorial videos on drawing things like you do? I think the closest we get are the speed draws. Yeah, if you watch the drawing things in different styles, drawing Goku in different styles, drawing yeah. Link in different genres, and we have another one upcoming. Mm -hmm. um, we talk a lot about our process in those. Yeah. Uh, Julia has the one coloring tutorial episode from a while back. Oh, that's true. Which does yeah. have some information in it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We might do more stuff like that in the future. Yeah, maybe we'll get back to draw a class or something. Yeah. What kind of vehicle drove through here? Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you were having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. I'm going to try to do this visual calculus. All right. Let's reconstruct the scene. Let's Sherlock Holmes this thing. Failure. 
No, these tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. <laughs> Great. What's this? Electronic doorbell. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. I have no reason to mess with this right now. Where's that bod? Where's that bodacious bod? Oh, there's a dude there. Oh, there's a kid. Kid's throwing stones at the body. You're throwing on, stones kid. at the body? What Get are you doing? Get out of here, kid. Kono's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. Oh, yeah. Never could be, Kuno. Huh? What does that mean? This is Ed, Ed, and Eddie. This is Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Kuno Kunese. Hey, kid, a word. Police business. Who are you? Nightcore uh... Fraser gifted five subs. Thank you, Nightcore Fraser. Thank you so much. Who and thank you? you, Saggy Boy, for the compliments on both Julia's impossible coloring and my Bloodborne over the garden wall drawing from yeah, way back when. Yeah, thank you. Who are you? Right in the dick, Kuno. <laughs> Get him right in the dick. Get him right in the dick. Who are you? Slob it in the dick. Oh no. I don't like Kuno. Kuno sucks. Who are you? The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes, and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. I don't know. Wow, that's quite a perception. Stop throwing, stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. I'm gonna tell you, Kuno. I will have no slurs at my crime scene. None. Can't talk, pig. She's coming up strong, throwing rocks. Every witness we've encountered, other than that one woman, has an awful voice. Yeah, they do. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. No! No, we're not, we're not doing drugs with the kid who uses slurs. Yeah, Kuno. Ride the lightning, Kuno. Kuno, don't ride the lightning. Kuno's riding a sea. He wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. The rake, Kuno. You should throw the rake at him, Kuno. D you kids gotta calm down. We're arresting the Kuno. Fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Oh, Kuno's, Kuno's not a gardener. Kuno's an idiot. Goddamn right he's not a gardener. He's an athlete. Every rock connects, making the battered corpse look just a little bit worse for wear. Kim. What do we do? What do we do about this, Kim? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces, Kim? You will see. Kim, that's mysterious. What? I don't have time for this. Go look in the in the thing. What is that? It smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. What's in there? Let's take a look at it. The letter R wears a crown on the ribbon below, a light above descending. Mm. Trash container. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says whirling in rags. Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. <laughs> trash container. The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death? How do we get the lock open? How do we get the lock open, trash container? Or Kim. We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage. Or physical instrument. Did someone say pry bar? Fuck yeah, pry bar. Yeah, pry bar. Yeah, pry bar. Pry bar, pry bar, your palms yearn its cold touch to grasp it once more as you've done so many times. Or, Lieutenant? Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling and Rags. He probably has one. Ask the manager? Bullshit! Go straight for the pry bar and pry this baby wide open. I am gonna do that. Get the key? I'm gonna pry it open with the pry bar. Oh. It was in his car, right, he said? Where's his car? I'm guessing in the street. Where's your car, Kim? I need that pry bar. Terminally inconvenient. Our plan is to still stream on Sunday if we get our internet up and running, which I hope we do. Which we should. Yeah. People are saying pride rights. <laughs> <laughs> this car is dope looking. Yeah, it is. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. Open the door. 
In the cabin, you were welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel tool preheater box, tool gauge. Toolbox. Perception, smell, a scent of leather work, and heavy fuel oils washes over you. Toolbox. I need a pry bar. Toolbox. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools, but what can you do? Work is work. Take the red-tipped pry bar! Pry bar! Pry bar! Pry bar! The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand, heavier than you'd think. Cold and heavy like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. Uh, interfacing. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. Uh, push in the pull-up toolbox. I just need the pry bar. Let's go. I got the pry bar now. Boom. Tools. Can I hold it? I can hold it. Yeah! Oh, the pry bar. Pry bar! The only truth in this world is my pry bar. And these horrible kids. Where is the other kid? Oh, there's the other kid. Yeah, he's on the fence. Literally and figuratively. Force time! Jam the tool under the lid and pull. 28%! What? We're strong! I That's should be, really good quality. I should be good at that. What? All right, go for it. Ugh. Force time isn't happening. You've jammed the fry bar under the lid, but it just isn't bending. Ugh. What is this? Your triceps ache for the metal to bend, but it resists. This calls for a potent curse to help break its resistance. Utter the power words. The fuck kind of metal is this? This is fucking shit. The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. Uh, I'm gonna hang from the pry bar with all my weight. There's a creaking sound as the pry bar slips under the lid. You hang from it like a moron, huffing and puffing. Clearly the technique is wrong, but nothing else comes to mind. Uh, I'm gonna kick it. Yeah, I mean, maybe it'll hurt your foot. But... Oh, you hurt your foot. <laughs> Trash container. Unsatisfying. You Hurtful. took one damage! You hear a ringing sound, but not quite hollow. The can seems to be full. I hurt myself. Full of itself, content, happy you failed. This snickering trash container is having a grand old time. Yeah. I can't pry it open. Uh, should we go get the key then? Let's ask the manager for the key. This is clearly not working. But I wanted to use the pry bar. I feel like I'm losing out on something not using the pry bar. My morale is damaged. <laughs> I'm really hurting. You are. The pry bar is quite satisfying and handy. He nods without the slightest hint of irony. But you are just not good enough at pying. We should get the keys. But I want to be good enough at prying. My morale and my health both hurt. I'm going to look at the body. Ooh, what's, what's that? What's this on the ground? Some slop? There are several footprints in the mud left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. Hmm. Let's get an exact count using my visual calculus oh my skill. God. Oh boy. What's happening to us? Uh oh. Why am I blacking out? Despair creeps into you, getting fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eating them all up now. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? I'm seriously running out of shits to give. Let corpses hang on trees. I've wasted my life protecting humans. I'm done. No one even likes cops. I wish I was fucking dead. Fuck you. I'm running out of shits to give because the pry bar didn't work. Oh, your morale! Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. <laughs> Another police officer resigned from the RCM following a nervous breakdown. He now lives under a bridge, drinking and occasionally throwing excrement at passersby, shouting, I never loved that woman. When asked to comment, former colleagues objected to the theory that his, his psychological disintegration was precipitated by his wife leaving him. It's because the furrows lost that match, said Captain Ptolemy Price. 
Once the man's superior officer, it's because he couldn't get a big gun from acquisitions, and anyway, police work really burns you out after a while. Satellite officer Jean Vicmar, the deranged former cop's partner, commented. Sergeant Mac Torson, another former colleague, did not propose any theories, merely saying whatever happened to him wasn't about birds. He got fucked, that's all. Well, we failed. I lost the game because I couldn't open the <laughs> I couldn't you open, open the dumpster. Garbage. You quit the force <laughs> because you couldn't open a dumpster. I couldn't open the dumpster, so I lost. That was the the final straw for you. Wow. That's rough, man. Should we do another one? I mean, I think I can load up a file and, uh, and okay. not not do what I did. Yeah, I have an autosave. Let's see where this autosave loads up. Well, it was 10.06. This was a little less than 10 minutes ago. I do pride myself on my cop skills. Oh, so many good pride jokes. What is this? Okay, look. I'm, my health is back. My morale is back. And Your most of all... Your morale is at, like, zero, it looks No, like. I have two. I, that means oh, I have okay. no morale heals. Oh, okay. I'm not even going to try to get in the trash. You know what? I don't even care about getting in the trash. What I do care about is looking at this corpse. Everyone was saying that you uh, hurt your pride. Yeah, it's the joke was made a million times, and honestly, it was good every time. Yeah. The hanged man. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostrils. Let go of your nose without throwing up. I do not have a good chance of succeeding at that. No. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Active decay. The lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow up! The cop's gonna blow, Kuno! Oh my god. I'm trying my best to get his awful voice. I'm gonna turn away. Uh, thank you, DDA Trainer, for the sub. Thank you, DDA Trainer. Red Ravens, thank you for the kind words about moving and taking care of ourselves in our moving process. Yeah. If we're too exhausted, we won't stream. Yeah. On Sunday, but we like streaming, so. Yeah, we do. We'll try to. Someone's trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. I know who. It's that nice lady who gave me these gloves. Money! Money and magnesium for my morale. Here's a trick. This winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. What's this? Pile of Eternite. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Eternite. Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? Let's try. Yeah, why not? Yeah! yeah! Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of Eternite, that's why they're too orderly. I'm oh, a genius. Outside. There it is, you see a shabby little door. Ooh. That made a deep noise. Yeah, that was a nice thunk. I got five experience. Nice. What is this then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. I do need to cut that dude down. That is like my whole oh, the kids were on rocks. job at the moment, but. He's disrespecting the dead, whatever. What do we have here? We got a jug of something up here. Are you gonna drink it? Money! A jug of money. Yeah. The poster says, get out of the way or get fucked up. Put that uh, on your jacket. Yeah, I was about to say, put that on your jacket. Bye, Terminally Inconvenient. Thank you for joining us. A silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. That's probably a drug, and my guy's going to want to do the drug. Yeah, probably. Yep. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. 
I've heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? Yeah, try that, uh, you know, pseudo-psychology there. I'm sure it's going to work on Kim Kitsuragi. Where Kate's go said, Hi, I have lurked for a while, but I'm a big fan. I just had to drop my best friend off at the train station so she could go home, and I'm a little heartbroken. I'm glad the stream is here to help me smile. Welcome to the chat. Thanks for stopping in, and I'm glad yeah. we can help. Also, it's nice of you to drop your best friend off at the train station. I know that uh, is always tough. That's a pig. That's a cured pig's head. That looks mummified. Go on, check out this ladder over here. I'm not going to do the drugs. I'm kicking the habit. An empty tube. An empty tube. Sometimes I feel like I have an empty tube. Why are yeah. you always leaning so far out of the camera? What's chair. over there to lean this to? This chair is uncomfortable, so I kind of rock back and forth. I mean, you definitely rock. Hey, thanks. A jacket! Jacket! Oh my god, get it. Vitement. Yeah, go wherever you need to go to get it. You really need to go far to get it. Uh, I really should have double-clicked that jacket. Bring it around <laughs> town. I kind of thought we could just jump up, maybe, but... I guess we got to go all the way over here. <sighs> Policeman cloak. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. You, you son, son of a gun, gun, it's a cop's cloak. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. He judges the drop. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. Go for the cloak. Jump over the edge. Do you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go for it? Jump? The cloak? I do think is yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it. I mean... I have to. I have to get the... I have to, it's clothes. Yeah, I do agree with you. I give my life for fashion. Ah! Oh, Let's go. Très bien. Yeah! <laughs> As you leap in the air, a chilly breeze engulfs you, sharpening your senses. Close your eyes and let your senses take in the world around you. Continue. Nope. Ankles tingling from the tension, blood roaring in your ears. You are ready for your rendezvous with the concrete pavement below. Martinez goes about its daily routine as you soar through the air. The loud voices of protesters mix with the engine sounds from the traffic jam. Waves crash against the pier and dense salty sea air fills your lungs. Don't let go of the moment. The corpse is dominating the yard and the stench is nauseating, even so far from the epicenter. It brings Ooh, tears you. to your eyes. Continue the voyage through the salty air. Where Kate's go, just subscribed. Thank you, Where Kate's go, and thank you, DDA Trainer, for... The bits, the bits and also the wander whale. Everyone's given bits for me to get a new chair. I'm going to have a nice chair when we move. Yes. So and no I'll worries. need to get a new chair. Cause You'll need to get a new chair, actually. I'm leaving this chair behind. We should order that. Yeah. As the concrete floor welcomes you, you realize it's been a while since you felt so alive, alert, capable. Must be the adrenaline. I knew you could do it. The lieutenant exclaims. My climbing down might not have been as disco as your jump, but at least we can explore the harbor now. With your feet firmly planted on the concrete, the noise of the harbor rushes back in. Oh my god, give me the cloak! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Put that cloak on. Ye I guess you have to put it over your jacket. On yes! Your yeah. <laughs> I look like a Harry Potter teacher. Those are kind of like the old... Uh, French police cloaks. A police cloak made from heavy tarpaulin. It would be nigh wind and waterproof if there weren't three bullet holes scattered on the surface. Wow. The signature white rectangle of the RCM covers the garment's back. I'm perfect. The cloak with this jacket is very funny. I look very stupid. What 
Can we find here. a tape here? The radio is emitting, emitting strange buzzing sounds. You're me now. A giant ass print on the pillow and a pattern of coffee rings on the armrest. A standard office file cabinet. The drawers seem to be locked. Someone left the coffee machine on. Okay, but maybe there's a cassette tape. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. It's unfortunate for the union to just leave their paperwork lying around like this. Open the drawer. The drawer opens smoothly. Inside is a well-organized selection of brown folders. Browse the folders. Hundreds of documents containing logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. Materials coming into Revachol from the outside world. From Mundi, Grad, and even Ilmara. Tifa83 says, would you still be convinced to play this game because there are clothes? You know it. Yeah, she, she was specifically excited because there were clothes. And the same materials being handed over to companies inside Revishal. Koran, Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock are listed among the many districts where the imports are being sold. We built this city. We built this city on It's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and percentages. You try to focus, but the lines are getting blurry. Do it! I'm feeling lucky. Yeah! yeah! Whatever's hidden here is hidden well. Concentration isn't enough. Only a trained accountant with a background in logistics would be able to really make sense of it. However, there is a little handwritten note stuck on the side of the drawer. Look at the note. It appears to be a to-do list written in large, uneven capital letters. Remember, Leo. Everart's shoes. Special whirling borscht. Water Everart's plants. Sweep off his floor. More banners. More banners. All items on the list have been crossed out, and the note itself is crumpled. Look, Kim, the to-do note with a list of errands for Everard. Everard Claire, probably. The head of the... the Bardeur Union. He inspects the note. One of his aides must have left it. Nothing incriminating here. I also thought it said more bananas at first, shaving a haircut, and I was really excited that they wanted more bananas. More bananas. What's so special about this borscht? Code for drugs? Booze? Blood? Take another look at the note. Special whirling borscht. Mm. One of these things has to be a cassette tape. This is a Dewey typewriter. The model name is on the back. Nice. Every worker equals member of the board is written at the top of the flyers. Try to look at this thing. Oh, What's this? Postcard. Le Jardin. Variant. What is this? What is this? This laminated postcard offers a glimpse across the river. A little more than a decade after the war, the eastern bank is already fully renovated. The hillsides are lush with gardens and residences. Someone's parked a small beige airship by the fountain. This postcard will sell for a pretty penny. People love postcards in this world. What's this? Magnesium. Magnesium. What's this? Glasses. Neat office shades. Oh, things are looking up for us. These were stuffed away in the dock workers union office. They're perfect for scribbling down paperwork when the sun tries to get in your eye. Good for staring down suspects too. Put those glasses on. I get plus Put one those glasses on. visual calculus, but minus one drama. I do need some right. visual calculus. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Now you look like the bass player for a 70s band. Yeah, I kind of look like Lemmy from Motorhead. You do look like Lemmy from Motorhead. This door is locked and cannot be opened from this side without a pass card. All right, well. We came in here for no reason, and I stole things for no reason. Yep. And now I have these glasses for no reason. We look like a superstar now. What's this? Collecting rainwater. All right. Should we go back down and cut down the body? Yeah, probably. I feel like I've gone way out of my way. I feel like we have to go that way. We can't go back up. What if I want to go... What is this? I can't go that way. If I click that, yeah, so though, he, he starts walking. 
So I guess we do have to go this way. What's this? What's this? What's this? All around you, great machines and quiescence. Quiescence. White pine trees are printed onto the screen covering. Looks like a forest under snow. It sure does. It sure does. I feel like I've gone so far away yeah. from where I was supposed Focus. to be. <laughs> How do I get back? Ooh, what's all that broken stuff? Uh, what At least three packs cheese? worth of cigarette butts. Numerous bodies. Bottles of Commodore Red and Potent Pilsner. Isn't that what we ordered from the from the dude, the manager? Yeah, Commodore That's Red. What, yeah, and the Potent Pilsner. So were we hanging out there? Oh, and all the boxes of cigarettes. Yeah, could be. So is that us? This is the Night Watchman's booth. The name on the door reads Rene Arnaud. Kim, I'm going to take a quick look inside. If you must. But please, Henri. We're pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. I'm taking it. I got a photo of a happy couple. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man is young, dark-skinned, and dressed in a royal carabi carabinier uniform. The girl is smiling playfully at the camera. Did you take that? Why did you take that? Something about this man piques my interest. I think this can be a side thing. <laughs> Fine. But let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping around here. I gotta find my side things. Okay, now we just gotta figure out how to get down. Maybe if I go over here? Well, why don't you click something over there and then it'll bring you. He, I tried, but he wouldn't go. Mm. I think I'm too... What's all that jazz? I guess we can't get to it, huh? Can I get to it? I Does my man know? Does he know something I don't? Jacob, we want you to seduce Kim. Kim doesn't seem seducible. No, we can't open the I door, can't I don't get up think. There. Okay. So didn't he say it's locked or whatever? Let's go back over here. I went to great lengths for this jacket, and I may have derailed the entire playthrough. That's all right. For the sake of getting this jacket, and I think... I think the chat understands that this was for the sake of fashion. A button! Hit a button. Crane control panel. A rustling control panel with several knobs, two buttons marked Alumer and Etendre. Etendre. Are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above. A container is attached to its hook block. Which one should I press? Uh, second one. Itendra. The crane stands tall, proud, erect, and still. All right, the first one. I thought maybe it would. It sure did, huh? That's what my bones sound like in the morning now. <laughs> it never stops. Oh. Whew. That was a series of sounds. And with a surprisingly quiet thunk, the crane yeah. places the container down. It wasn't quiet. <laughs> the harbor sleeps as the strike rages in the distance. The crane can rest again now that its purpose has been fulfilled. It's purpose? What do you mean? Moving this container, of course. For this purpose it was built. For this purpose it has acted. And now it will rest. Oh, that's a nice way of putting it. Do you want to read this dialogue? I can't see how that was worth the ruckus. He looks at the crate. Except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. It was not satisfying. <laughs> it was bad for all of us. What's this? What's this? Go up there and get it. Go get it. Go get it. Money! Go get it. Health! Oh, I can see what's in the crate Pry now. Bar. I think there's something about this container. 
You do? Because I don't. What? Why not? There are millions of containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? I don't know, Kim. It just feels special. It's a cargo container, detective. Just like all the others. We're not here to interact with containers. We're here to talk to the Union, right? Open! Open the door. You attempt to turn the handle to no avail. The door seems to be mechanically locked. Knock on the door. No. Oh. No reply. The knock produces a hollow ring of metal. Doesn't sound like there's anything inside the container. Well, fine then. Fine. I hate it when Kim is right. Let's go over here. I'm just having... Oh, coins, coins, coins. To the right. Oh. I didn't see. Well, it's, it's green on a very similar yellow, so... The speaker tower is silent. There's no work to organize in the yard below. Toolbox! Nothing. The musk of oil and rust comes from the chasm in front of you. Smells like blood. Oh, no. Smells like teen spirit. All the small things. That's not Smells Like Teen Spirit. <laughs> Why did you sing that song? Because <laughs> oh, it's also about teens or whatever. No, it's not. What well, part of that song there. is about teens? Who are you? Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, but the wall goes on. We should all have this sort of enthusiasm for our jobs. Yeah. Container, container, used to be well pined. Container, container, now belongs to Everett. The tiny man is so <laughs> engaged in his work he doesn't notice you. I will not enjoy... I will not... I have to talk to him. Everett, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, master? Easy, Leo. You're Guys, already a friend. I know what smells like Teen Spirit is. See, you're not a union man, Mister. Did you get lost? <laughs> you're not one of them scabs, are you? No, of course I not. I don't personally mind. Folks are just folks, you know, and folks gotta eat. He doesn't seem to be waiting for you to answer. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, Mister. Are you the Leo who wrote the note to make more banners? Oh yes. I leave all kinds of notes for myself. That old head of mine ain't so good at keeping things in no more. I almost forgot about the borscht. What was that about the borscht? Ah, oh, yes. I've been taking several special whirling borscht to the men every day since the strike started. Little guy chuckles merrily. <laughs> it's very, very good. Makes a man feel so warm and happy. He shakes his head with a wide smile. I feel like I could take on a Mr... Reno Dean's bored dogs every time the lunch is done. I've devolved into a sort of Russian. What the Power hell? borscht, huh? Never heard of a borscht that turns little guys into dog fighters. Alcohol, however. What do you mean by taking the soup to the men? Is it for striking? Yes, yes, I'm taking it to them. The borscht keeps them happy and in fighting spirits. Make you all warm inside. They brew it in the whirling and rags. Looks like the borscht just spiked. I'm gonna look into it. Oh, sure, mister. Sure. You do that. Yes, sir. He didn't actually understand what you meant, and now he's just nodding along. I gotta know what's in the container that I tried to open, but I couldn't. Oh, well, that one. That should be empty as far as I know. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. Just waiting to be loaded up. Told you. Told you. What are you doing with the containers? Oh, I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operator to spot them. He waves at the containers towering behind him. Well, I got a pretty good chance of logicking this one out. Let's do it. Yeah! The containers in the yard are green in Wild Pines livery, and the mountain rising behind Leo is all red in Union colors. It's like some red infection was spreading outward from the container yard's core. 
There appear to be cisterns underneath the Union container covers. This looks like a massive redecorating operation. Has anyone told you why you need to change the covers? What is underneath these red covers? No, not really. He shrugs and continues merrily. Mr. Everard uh, doesn't tell me all the big things. It says I go and tell them to everyone. What's underneath the red covers? Oh, I don't know, mister. They say it's, um, G. Michaels. Most of them have labels on them, I think. This looks like a massive redecorating operation, Kim. Yes. They are hiding it from the inside. All the red containers have Debardeur Union logos on them. Thanks, Leo. You've been very helpful. Oh, no trouble at all, mister. No, not at all. Oh, Julia is really bad at flipping in between two accents, <laughs> especially the Scottish one. I'm looking for the leader of the dock workers union. Oh, motherfucker! You just want me to keep <laughs> talking in this accent, don't motherfucker. you? Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, you want Mr. Everett then? He's an awfully nice fellow. He is. Him and his brothers are both nice fellows. They've lived their entire <laughs> lives in this here neighborhood. <coughs> container, container. <laughs> Guys like Mr. Everard and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. <laughs> I was reading the comments. Me and Martinez is what it is today. Mr. Everard and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. <laughs> How'd you like mine? That was good. Pretty good, right? Easy now, Leo. I just want to know where I can find this man. Oh, Mr. Everard is where he always is in his office, of course. He points to the two joint containers on your right. All right, I'm off. Thank God. Bye bye now. Oh, bye bye now. Let's go visit Mr. Everard. I guess now we're over here. This is our mystery now. The body's still hanging. <laughs> can't get, can't <laughs> get back just to like, it. Oh my God! I literally had one request. Coffee in the giant thermoses is still. Someone's lukewarm. typing away. I hear it. A stair made of pallets leading up. Oh, what accent am I going to it's have? It's Kingpin! Saggy Boy 01, thank you so much for coming. Have a good night. Bye, Saggy Boy! A taxidermy fish that tells time. Hi. Oh, oh boy. Before you is a walrus of a man seated behind a large desk. He holds up from his work. He looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. With a great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. Are you in charge of the dock workers? Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsaragi. It's good to to stop by. Oh, I'm kind of a, a Mitchell. I'm a bit of a nerdy boy, aren't I'm I? I'm a bit of a Mitchell. I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Dubois Jewelers Union here in Martinet. I sound a little bit like David Mitchell. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately my health prevents me from getting up. You understand. Do you live in that? He chair? did call us Mr. Dubois. Oh. We found our name! He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. You go ahead. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Thank I'll you take for a seat. Mr. Dubois, I can see that you're a reasonable man. And reasonable men. Reasonable men can be of great use to one another. Thank you for the people agreeing with me that it sounds like David Mitchell. <coughs> I don't know what David Mitchell sounds like or else I might agree with you. Sounds like him. All right. Well, now I do. Have you watched um, Peep Show? Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. I do know what you're talking about now. I just didn't know that guy's name. The Littler guy? Yeah. I'm going to try to wink back. So tell me, how can the head of the DeBarges Union help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today? Pain threshold. The chair hurt me. It's like the chair you're in. Yeah. The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable chair in the world. It's violating your backside. Oh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain 
Lawrence Garte. Some people have no manner. Pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. He points to a giant novelty check on his desk. It's absolutely comically huge. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with the cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. He points at it again. Wow, that's 25 real. That's good money. You need it. He does sound like what's his face from uh, uh, IT Crowd. What's his name? IT. Uh. Uh. Oh my god, I've seen him in so many things. So many big fat quizzes. Richard Ayuade. Yeah, Richard Ayuade. Lord, save me. Wait, you know Garth? Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work, that boy is. I'm gonna take his karmically large check. Is there anything you'd like to say to me? Or... No. <laughs> no, it's cool. You've got integrity. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Don't mention it. But also, don't forget it. I'm just kidding, of course. Wow. I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let lost me gun. You, union people are on it as we speak. I've got my best hound looking for that lost gun. Lost gun. Oh. His slug like slips. Wow, I can't talk tonight. His slug like lips move. <laughs> it's hard to say. Slug like slug -like lips. Like lips. Slug like lips. Move. But all you can hear is an echo. Lost gun. Lost, lost gun. gun. Lost gun. Lost gun. <laughs> well, you lost your gun, didn't you? My morale got hurt by lost gun. Yeah, you lost your gun. Yeah. The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitational pull. Lost and gun. gun. Oh, God. Why didn't you think of this before? Cops have guns. Where's yours? This doesn't worry me at all. Who cares if I've lost my gun and the love of my life? Okay, so you are, like, recently divorced or something. Morale critical. No! <laughs> oh, no. Stop doing this to him. <laughs> oh, no, my morale. Please. Use a healy. <laughs> Healed morale. Fuck love. This is your gun. This is serious. Are you alright, Harry? You seem anxious. Well, don't be. Everything's going to be alright. Everything's going to be alright. So, we definitely were passed out right in front of where that booth thing was. With all yeah. the booze and the cigarettes. So, someone could have definitely taken the gun. Yeah. Okay. It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Loaded gun. The children aren't out there playing with it right now. Pointing it into their own in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. Last oh. gun. Last gun. So he gun. definitely has our gun, huh? Yeah, Harry Dubois is our name. But also, he can't get out of his chair. It so was he didn't loaded. Kill there were two bullets in it. You always keep at least two barrels loaded. Oh, I oh. cannot not panic. I gotta turn to Ken. Help me, Ken. I wouldn't be so sure about that. So we have to take the hit? I'm gonna panic! I'm gonna panic! I wouldn't be so sure Oh, I'm gonna that. panic! Guys, I'm gonna panic! Xavier0286 says, Thanks, Julian Jacob. Love y'all on Droppy and the stream rules. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you for joining us. All right. God, you're sweating. Your knee is jerking. You're about to cry, aren't you? You're about to cry because you lost your gun and those children are going to shoot themselves with it. So what? Men can cry too. Well, I do agree with that. But also, number one, I feel like we should go with me. No, men can cry too. Well, yes, but your morale is... Julia, I've had enough of you telling me men can't cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cry about it. You want to cry? God, you're weak. Whatever you do, don't cry. I'll think you're disgusting. That's my composure talking. Uh. Mr. Dubois, you don't look so good. My morale's critical! That's what I said would happen! No, it's fine. What's this Mr. Dubois he keeps repeating? What is he trying to pull here? You need to cool the fuck down. Chill. Mr. Dubois. Mr. Dubois! Harry! The large man snaps his fingers, but to no effect. You're in some stupor. 
keep sliding down the chair like a jello shot, or there are no Harrys. Let your mind go to your seat. I'm going to my safe space. Mr. Dubois, are you okay? Can I get you a glass of water or something? Are you having some kind of medical emergency? No, emergency. dog. It's fine. Shave and a haircut. I think in this sense, crying makes you lose morale because you're doing it in front of this guy who has ill will towards you. And you're supposed to be like a composed cop. And you're supposed to be like holding it There's together. There's an expectation that you're supposed to have. In this setting. Yeah. Maybe you could use your hands somehow in kind of a throwing motion. Like you're throwing that Mr. Dubois act right back at him. He's Mr. Dubois. I'm melting. That's a very funny option, but let's not go with it. This chair is uncomfortable and I need a glass of water. I feel like let's do that because it'll give you a moment to... What an odd demonstration of... You got me, Harry. <laughs> I don't even know what. As entertaining as it was, I'm afraid we're wasting our time. And I'm an extremely busy man, as I'm sure you are too. Okay, enough. We are here to ask you some questions pertaining to a murder investigation. Thank you, Kim, for Thank finally you, Kim. stepping in. Quick, here's your window. Get yourself together and ask some questions. Police officer questions. I want to talk about the hanging. Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martinez. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to discuss it with you. Secret task complete, interview the union boss. I mean, it's no secret that lynching is connected to the strike. So much talk, so much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me. I say nothing. But there's a thing that's been keeping me up. There's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchanging information, we could blow this thing wide open. Yes, that sounds good. The lieutenant says with a slow nod. Let's do that. Let's talk about it. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. Suddenly he slaps himself on the forehead. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door opening machines. Incredibly talented at opening doors. Kim, is that true? Are we door opening machines? I'm not sure I understand. If you're asking us to break down someone's door, it's not going to happen. Come now, I just need you to open a little door for me and leave it unlocked. A simple thing. Absolutely nothing shady about it. Why don't you just open it yourself? Harry, I'm a very busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. You look like you could run around all day. If you want to send someone a message that the police are working for you. I repeat, I'm a very busy man, Mr. Kitsuragi, and therefore I must occasionally enlist outside help. So what'll it be, Harry? Whose door is it? Oh no, one's it's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Nothing for you to worry about. Uh. What do you mean by a weasel? A loud, blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. He removes his glasses and rubs his nose. Just go there, unlock the door, and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so I can discuss business with you. I bet you don't even know anything about the hanging. Harry, my dear friend, I am what people call a local bigwig. I know everything that goes on in Martinez. I don't know, do we accept the task or refuse the task? Um, I don't know. I don't want to do anything this guy wants, basically, because no. I feel like he's in it. I don't like this man. So should we refuse? We can refuse it for now. We can accept it for now? Can we, we can accept, accept it? it and then not do it. Is that true? Okay. I'm going to accept it. Fantastic, my friend. Just let me know when it's done and we can take our friendship to the next level. So maybe I can find something else some other way. You can get the key from Manana. He's down by the gates. Manana's like a free agent in the Union. Special operations, hardened socialist. A real free thinker, too. 
He'll tell you precisely where the door is. He smiles, obviously satisfied with how well he planned it all out. One last thing, Harry. Just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. All right. All right. All right. What time is it? We got six minutes. Six minutes. Enough to leave. Walk, yeah, walk down. Um, oh, you need this card to get in and out through the gate. Oh, now we can go to that roof, maybe, and get the thing. I got the Debardeur's Union card. All right. Now I can leave successfully. Yes. I got the, uh, these quests. I have this giant novelty check. Thank you for the compliments, Guanto, on the latest draw detective. Those are always very fun to work on. I'm really enjoying the one I'm working on now. It's a very fun episode. They're all fun. They're all fun. But it's this fun one's series. also fun. Kim stands really close to you. It's true. I does. want Kim close to me. He's the only one I can trust in this crazy mixed up town. All right, let's figure out how to get out of here. Well, I think you could go through that door. Yes. The shipyard ahead is oddly quiet. The great machines are sleeping. You know that one where we tried to go to the roof and then you just stood at the door? I think yeah. you could open that now. I want to see what's down here. Oh, oh I went down button. here. Yeah. Here's the button. There was a thing over there. There was a button. Oh. Oh. Go get it. Go get it, boy. Go get that button. It's faded industrial lettering on the platform. Kvalsund. Oh, it wasn't a button? No, it wasn't a button. I'm sorry. It's okay. I still wanted to read it. It's 5 to 11, use 11, seduced Kim. Oh, it looks like I can use this door now. Go back to the door, buddy. We have to go seduce Kim. Yeah. Well, I thought our original goal was to sing. But I don't know where to find the tape. Mm. It could be anywhere. Oh, this okay. isn't where I needed to go, is it? Well, I think you can exit oh, this, this door. place now. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Because yeah. he said he needed the card. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Can we not go to the roof somehow? To get the stuff? I guess it's not important. Who are you? You're not Kim. Who are all of you? Measurehead. Who are you? Whoa, that portrait. Oh, it's like some sort of brutalism there. It's cool. Oh man, my body betrays my degeneracy. Or like industrialism. Yeah, Hit up colors. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. <coughs> my body does not betray my degeneracy. You have succumbed to a wolf. I bet that's alcohol. Mm. You reek of it. Yep. The invisible sword of a wolf murder. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. <laughs> You're right, I'm an alcoholic. Now I need you to cooperate <laughs> with me. No, you don't. You need to get another one. Occidental Aplogroup B4 is done in the The influence of the Am Sandwich race. Right. What's the ham sandwich race? I'm the police and I need you to comply now. Jump king motion. Signs of a late state neurodegenerative disorder. How far the occidental abnormal has fallen. You were once a noble and powerful race. Who is this man? I don't know. He's you kicking our ass though. Eugenics. Electricity, 
and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. Is this game you French? Why is everyone French? It's cool. Like the deformed Hemian and the inexplicably potato obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with privileged pop culture. Mm hmm. You will be superseded. Isn't that right, baby? It is, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. You know it. You're right about all this. Enough with this begging. You should leave the stage of history with dignity by inviting the other races to a great world. War. I don't have no. any say in any of this. No. Bring your troops to the I don't have troops. And to Boogie Street and we barely have ourselves together. When you are we can't get troops together. It's nice that you'll build a museum for me. State of Arizona says you're in the tough part of town, the French part. <laughs> Gotta get out of that French part of town. Inside, we will store the oath to homosexuality come out, and your meat was Oh, this guy's a homophobe too. Oh, good, great. We're really dealing with the top brass here. This guy's a, some sort of homophobe supremacist. Great, love it. What? And you know what he reminds me of? Of, uh... How's it going, dude? How's it going, dude? What do the tattoos mean? Racists are generally not very good examples of their race. But... But you are... But I feel like you're being a little racist. But also, you're a homophobe. I am not like them. I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a phrenologic grid on my skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. Phrenology is nothing! <laughs> it's nothing! No, it means this dude's alpha. True, that is a noble cranium, but you got a hard noggin yourself. Yeah, right. You're right, that's craniometric perfection. My race does not stand a chance. Right. I'm gonna stop talking to this man. He I sucks. Know, I don't know anything about this man and what what he's doing. It is past eleven now. Well, I guess we should call it then. I think we should call it. Oh, but look at this guy. I gotta talk to this guy first. Scott. Scott. Ask the man with the jolly eyes tilting his head. What exactly is a scab? Kind of a worm. Content with oh, this is Manana. Manana. They want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Do not scab. You don't seem to like them much. Stupid, or freaking evil to scab, or I guess scared maybe, but scared of what? Of who? He looks at the mask, squinting his eyes as if trying to ascertain what they're scared of. People are just cursing down there. They're angry. I'd rather beg than scab. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging. Maybe they have got some stuff. Have you tried talking to them? Explain the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. This guy wasn't as fun as I hoped with his jaunty hat and ascot. No. His painterly outfit and having a fun name like Mignana. Yeah, I know. Seems all right. kind of sad. Shall we call it here? Yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Oh, I just noticed his head turns when I where I move the mouse. Oh, that's fun. No. I will not play this game. No, no, no. The stream is over. I will not investigate any more mysteries. Uh, thank you so much for joining, everyone. Sorry if this game was a little bit more dark. Than a little bit could. dark and edgy. A little bit dark and edgier. But um, also, it, it's pretty funny, too. I, I really enjoy the writing in it. Yeah. Um, it, you know, they, they intersperse some nice jokes in there to keep it nice and light. I'll stuff. definitely be playing more of this, uh, in my own time. Thank you for the good luck with our move, Ellie and Toria. 
Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, and thank you everyone for joining us in general. And thank you for everyone who gave bits and subs and stuff. Yeah, you guys are all the best. Yeah. And uh, we will see you on Sunday, hopefully. We'll let you know on Twitter if we're going to be streaming, but most likely we will. Yeah, if we get our new place all together, which we should. Yeah. So, yeah. Good night, everybody. Night, everyone.